Okay, I'm at Lovelock Cave. Lovelock Cave is a small cave of historical significance, archaeological significance. It's like the first cave in the area to be excavated by a professional archaeologist. Here's a quick sign about it. I'll let you read it. Blah, blah, blah. There was stuff in it. There's still stuff in it. Don't touch anything. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, go in here. Go through uh, clockwise. Discovered by guano miners. Huh, that's funny. I just wrote that I don't see any sign of bats. Well, I see a lot of animal poop in here, but I can't tell the difference between, like, I don't know if there's any guano or not. Maybe the miners got what they were looking for. I don't know. This is a small cave. It's officially 100 feet, 50 feet long. Although, realistically, it's left to right, not front to back. I could probably explore this without a flashlight if I was feeling brave or dumb or both. Notice all the animal poop on top of this rock. Notice the rock up here, how black it is. I'm pretty sure this rock itself is, you know, light gray or white. So, in other words, it's very, very dirty. I think that's from animal stuff. The texture of this cave, the rock itself is kind of interesting. It's a little rough, like cave popcorn, but not really cave popcorn. I think this is a solution cave, but there's no real formations in here. It's such a small cave, it doesn't really make any difference. Again, look at this rock here. All that white stuff, and that's a uh, animal stuff. So, yeah. Since it's nice big entrance to this cave, a lot of animals have been getting in here. Birds, and rats, whatever. See all those little uh, like tree branch things down there? Those were brought in probably by pack rats making a nest or whatever pack rats do. Same thing, look at all these little black pieces here. I think that's too big to be uh, bat poop. I think that's from rats. Hmm. But I haven't seen any actual animals in here. Same thing, look back here. It's nice stuff from pack rats. Notice there's a tiny way down there, too small for people. Notice how weird the texture of the rock is here. There's like a vertical vein going through the middle here. And all sorts of pretty different colors here. Nice big pieces of rock. Different colors, brownish, gray, white. And that mess up there, that's a couple of animal nests. I think that's from pigeons. Same thing, look at the rock down there, how it's kind of red. Up here, it's kind of pink. Now, I'd be curious to know exactly how many different types of rock are in this one little cave. I think it's officially a limestone cave, but it's a little more interesting than just one big solid piece of limestone. Look at this. There's a way up there that goes up a couple dozen feet. Definitely animal poop and stuff up there. I don't see any actual animals though. They probably smelled me coming and ran. It is pretty cold outside. It's, it's about 10 a.m. and it's like 35 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's barely above freezing point of water. What's weird here, look at this. This is kind of suspicious. There's a, hang on, my, my hat almost blew off. All right, here we go. See how there's one spot that's pink surrounded by black? It makes me wonder, wait a minute, does that mean a piece of rock is broken off recently, exposing the clean rock underneath? Was that something people did on purpose? Seems like it could be kind of hard to do it on an accident. Why in the world somebody would break off a piece of rock though? I don't know. Trying to show off their strength. Pretend they're Paul Bunyan. Look at all the sticks inside here. So yeah, that seems to be evidence of animal activity. 
I highly doubt the wind blew it up there. This cave has a big entrance, but it's a dead end, so I, there's not really any airflow in here except for, you know, normal cave breathing as the temperature and pressure change outside. Weird. Look at the round rocks here. It's like fish scales on the wall. It's kind of weird. See, here's another spot that's light surrounded by dark. Does that mean a piece broke off? Or is there something special about that rock? Kept it clean. The ceiling here is almost 15 feet tall, but it's not really that interesting. What's weird, right here is a huge pile of dust. What's so special about this one place that there's a pile of dust? Three feet tall, eight feet wide? Huh. Suspicious. And then again on this ledge, look at all the dirt and stuff. So, and then sticks. So obviously pigeons, maybe pack rats too, brought that in. Oh, perfect timing. Notice how the rock is lighter colored here. It's clean for some reason. Wow. Little bit of vandalism, but not too bad. And then again over here, there's loose dirt, but that's over towards the entrance. So that could have been blown in by the wind or something. But look at the texture on the rock. See, this is what I would expect an actual limestone cave to look like. All sorts of little lines, diagonal lines. But look at this. It's a couple dozen feet up. That's where I came from. Kind of cool. Same thing, look at the ceiling here. All sorts of pretty horizontal lines where it's relatively clean. So you can actually see the rock. There's vertical lines here too, really white, light. But we've got to watch your step. Let me pan down. Look at this, I'm standing on a rock. There's a gap between rocks like six feet down. Just enough it would hurt really bad if I stepped in there without paying attention. Of course, stepping in there while paying attention probably wouldn't help much either. Okay, I could go out on that ledge, but I don't want to. So let me go up here very carefully. 